easy to confuse being a go-getter with being self-centered, but that just isn't the case. You can also be passionate about improving the lives of others, and Dr. Sheena Ganesh is an example. In the heart of Josie, Dr. Sheena Ganesh had just fetched her daughters from school. As soon as they were settled, her patients would enjoy first priority. Okay, guys, mommy's got a lot of work to do. There's lots of patients in the room, okay? Okay. So I want you to do all of your homework, please. For Dr. Ganesh, these aren't cases to be processed, but individuals entitled to personal attention. Not as any pain anywhere in your body. Let's have a look and see what's going on. Come, come through. The waiting room was beginning to clear, allowing Sheena a mummy moment with her girls. Are you doing your homework? Yes. Tell me how's it going? Good. Me? Give me a kiss. Well done. <laughs> It had been a busy afternoon, but the doctor wasn't about to put her feet up and Michelle wouldn't be her only visitor. We've seen Dr. Sheena Gennett in action at her busy downtown surgery in Johannesburg. Now let's go on and visit her at home. She wears something like pearls because the dress is so flowing and feminine. I like that. Good day, ladies. How are you? Hello. Michelle. I'm Gina. Sheena, lovely to meet you. Hi. What are you busy with? We're busy preparing for a photo shoot. <laughs> what is this photo shoot in Adolf? The pictures will be featured in the editorial and uh, we're just basically going to showcase some, some of my clothes. I have to ask though, you've been doctor mode, now you're shifting. How do you do that? When that white coat goes on, you know, my whole mood and my whole attitude changes. It's a professional shift that I actually find so easy. I'm like this chameleon. The photographer and art director were waiting in the garden. I was sure you'd like something quite rustic and natural on the outside. Okay. That is a piece of artwork. It is actually. You know, every element of, of a photo shoot is so well thought about. The headgear, the simple piece on my hand, and then this beautiful flowing dress. Sheena, you had a fascinating childhood. Tell us a bit about that. Yes, you know, when I was, when I was a little girl, even though I, I actually by accident got into modeling, uh, I realized from a very young age that I actually needed to study. I used education to empower myself. But as a 12-year-old, how were you so intuitive? You know, I, I was so intuitive about what was going on around me. Um, you know, I knew that my parents were not able to lift themselves out of this economic trenches that they found themselves in. And I realized that I needed to uh, do something to change our lives. Clearly you're a natural at this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's wonderful to be a mother of two and to be able to pose next in the garden. A mother of two, can we just say that again? Yes, a mother of two. <laughs> How proud are you as a mother and a woman? Showing them that you can be a successful doctor and still be beautiful mother model. I try to involve them as much as possible in every aspect of my life. I want them to know that, you know, they could use the education, they could use the aesthetic beauty. We're such diverse creatures. Well, what's the next look? Well, we're going to go for something more dramatic. Oh, drama, drama, drama. Yeah, something more bright and bold. Sheena, this is a full turnaround from the white, fresh look to this beautiful ethnic look. Absolutely. A little bird told me that you are quite the shoe aficionado. I love shoes. I've got a shoe fetish. <laughs> uh, I live for shoes. Uh, we travel quite a lot and uh, I love buying shoes. So just shoes, shoes, shoes. I love it. So what are you thinking of? I'm Indian. I'm all about bling. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're the shinier range that I love for evening. And maybe if you could help me, I, I was thinking of going something more uh, nude. Yeah. And I think that would actually look fantastic. Now, if I may, this is calling me. Yes, this is, this is, oh, you've got great taste. Uh, there is, we go, look at that. This is, this is a beautiful shoe. And, uh, you know, the bling, the color, it's just going to go great. What is your philosophy on life? You know, we've set up the Ganesh Foundation and our motto is changing African lives positively. And I stand by that and I live by that. And I really hope that with time, I could impact on another person's life, either by my words, by my actions, or even by my mere presence. Now tell me a bit about the foundation that your family started. So Neil and I started off this foundation and we looked at four main arenas. We looked at education, health, entrepreneurship and sport. We're very, very passionate about health. So one of our 
biggest projects is supporting the Lunchbox Fund where we feed children across South Africa. Sheena is definitely one remarkably talented individual. I do believe she's afraid of heights though, so I'm going to challenge her to some zip lining. A short trip later and Sheena was ready to face her fears. Sheena, I love that you've dressed for the occasion, as per my brief. <laughs> you know what, this outfit is just to psych me up mentally. Let's get through. This is for everyone out there to live out their fears. I love that about you though, that you're game to actually overcome that fear. Ready, okay, ready. go. The, the palpitations that's going on. Yeah. Thank God for the gloves because there's a little bit of sweating <laughs> on oh, my palm. Right? I find that if you're keeping the center, it actually works well. How many steps to go? Uh, about 10. Ah, oh, unstable. Yeah. Tina, ah! you're a brave woman. Talented, educated, and oh so gorgeous. This is one talented woman who I've had absolute joy spending time with. And she overcame a fear of heights on camera. Yes. <laughs> Wonder woman indeed. Thank you so much. It's been great spending time Thank with you. you. It's been wonderful.